So the festive season is upon us once again and today I'm going to show you how I made this stylish Santa illustration and hopefully I can get this done in 10 minutes. But as always my name is Keelan and let's get into it. So first let's delete the default light and hide the camera for later. Now add a subdivision surface modifier to the cube here, this is going to be the main base of our character. And in edit mode, extrude out the top, make the bottom a little bit fatter and add in an additional loop cut till you get this cone like shape. I'm going to go ahead and adjust mine slightly from the side here to make him tilt backwards a little bit. Now I want to create the suit and the hat and I'm going to do this quickly by duplicating a section of the base. But first we need to apply our subdivision modifier so this geometry becomes selectable. Now in edit mode I'm going to toggle x-ray so I can select a bunch of faces here and use shift D to duplicate. Right click to leave in place and with that section still selected press P for the separate tool and in this case I'm just separating the current selection. Remember how to do this because we're going to be using this a lot throughout this video. Now with this new part selected, add a solidify modify to it and give it some thickness. Then add a subdivision modifier on top of this to give it an even smoother appearance. You can also use the loop cut here to really firm up this edge if you want to. And you can also toggle into extra here which makes things a little easier to see. Now let's go ahead and do this again for the bottom of the hat and then again for the top of the hat. And as a tip you can quickly copy any modifiers from one object to another by shift selecting your objects and then lastly selecting your object with the active modifiers and using the control L shortcut and then selecting copy modifiers. Now we can play around with our solidify modifier values to find a general shape that we like. And I'm also adjusting the general shape of my hat here in edit mode. And I'm also taking advantage of the proportional editing tool here to smoothly move areas around. And I'm just gonna add a new subdivision modifier to the base here before we move on to the legs. To create the legs, I just added in a cylinder here with control A and I'm scaling it to a size that I like and I just moved into place down here. Then I wanna create the boot and for that, I'm just going to add in a cube scaling it down in edit mode and then adding in a loop cut in the center here so I can extrude out that bottom section to create a general boot shape. Then we can add in an additional subdivision modifier to start smoothing that over for us and then going into edit mode to add in some additional loop cuts to really firm up that shape a bit more. In this case of course Santa is going to need two legs and two boots so I'm just going to go ahead and add a mirror modifier to this to make this quick and easy and then we can select the body as our mirror object and then once again doing the same for the boot. Now it's time for the arms. And once again, I'm just going to add in a cylinder for this, but in this case, I'm going to be curving this object. So we need some additional loop cuts in the center here so it's got enough geometry to bend. Then in our modifiers, add in a simple deform and we're going to set this to bend. We'll also need to apply a scale reset with control A here to make sure it bends correctly. In this case, I'm just setting mine to bend along the Y axis and I'm just playing around with the angle till I find something I like. Then move it into place and you can also add a subdivision modifier to this if you want it to look a little bit smoother. For the hands I'm simply adding a cube and giving it a subdivision modifier once again and then we can go ahead and use the mirror modifier on both of these to quickly generate two arms. And we're looking good. Now for the face I'm going to move my cursor back to the center here with shift S and I'm just going to add in a new cube. I'm going to bring this up by the face here, scaling it out so it's a little bit more rectangular add a subdivision surface modifier and in edit mode I'm going to add in some additional loop cuts to give our nose a bit more of a sausage shape. And then once again using pretty much the same method to create the eyes and in this case I went for a cute beady eyes look. And I also remembered at this point that Santa probably needs some ears too so once again add in a cube, subdivision modifier and scale this down so it's a little thinner and I also added in a loop cut to make the edges a little bit more defined along the rim of the ear. Congratulations, you've made an elf. But on a serious note, to make this look a little bit more like Santa Claus, we're gonna make the beard, starting with the mustache part. Initially, moving my cursor here with shift right click and adding in a cube, subdivision modifier again, and then in edit mode, I'm just going to select this face here, and in front view, we can use a quick extrusion shortcut using shift right click to create a mustache shape. And then just adjusting the shape to your liking, and once again using a mirror modifier to mirror this across to the other side. 
At this point I realized my face was a little too low so I'm just going to move the hat up slightly and selecting all of the face objects and moving these up a little bit too. Now to create the beard I'm going to once again start by duplicating a bit of the base mesh, separating it and adding in a solidify modifier for thickness and moving this above the subdivision modifier so it's smooth. Feel free to adjust your values as much as you'd like but then I'm going to go ahead and jump into edit mode making sure that I am selecting edges, selecting this bottom edge and I'm going to extrude it out using the same control right click method we used before. Then I'm adding in a mirror modifier to mirror this across the other side and in this case I want to make sure that my mirror modifier is at the top of the modifier stack and I'm going to enable clipping and merge. Now when we jump into edit mode we can press 1 to select vertices and when I bring these close together in the center here they should merge nicely. Now I want Santa's beard to be a little bit thicker so I'm going to select these vertices in edit mode and extrude them up and then I'm going to fill in this little gap here by selecting these three vertices and using F to fill. And just like that, our elf has become Santa Claus. Now, before we move into the materials, I did miss a couple of small details, starting with the brows, which is once again just going to be a subdivided cube with a couple of loop cuts. And for the belt, I'm just duplicating a section of the suit here, which is going to have a solidify and subdivision modify inherited from the base suit. But I want to scale it up a little bit more, so let's initially set the origin point to the center of mass, so that it scales up from the center nicely. And to make this belt a bit more squared off, I'm going to add a loop cut to this, and and then using control B to bevel and bring these edges a little bit closer to the top and bottom. And then back into object mode, I'm just going to add in another cube with another subdivision modifier for the bauble on the hat. And at this point, I'm sure you're fed up of me saying adding a cube and adding a subdivision modifier. Fortunately, the belt buckle is a little bit different, and I started by adding in a plane, rotating it 90 degrees on the x-axis so it's facing us, and then scaling it down to get a smaller, more rectangular shape. Make sure you reset the scale values now with Control A because we're going to jump into edit mode and we're going to inset this face using I and we're going to use X to delete the inner face. And then once again doing the same old solidify modifier for thickness, subdivision for smoothness and then utilizing some additional loop cuts and areas to firm up the shape. And would you look at that, our Santa is pretty much done. But now let's go back through all of our parts and I'm just going to increase my subdivision modifier values in areas to get a smoother finish. But by all means, if you want to keep this low poly, I'm sure that would look pretty epic too. And when you're done, highlight everything, right click and set the shame to smooth to get this nice finish. Then we want to select everything once again, shift selecting on our base last, and then we can use control P to set the body as the parent. And now when we select the body and press R twice, we can make Santa tumble through time and space. And then just use Alt R to bring him back to Earth. So go ahead and click up here to head into material preview and the materials on this are going to be nice and basic and starting with the hat, head into material properties down here, create a new material and I'm just going to make this a nice red color. And we can quickly copy this material to any other part you want by shift selecting your objects and ensuring that you select the object with the material last using control L and link in the materials. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the same for each section allocating the colors that I want. And in this case, I'm also going to bring down the roughness a little bit just to give us a bit more of a plastic look. And then once you're done, go ahead and make Santa tumble through time and space once again to bask in your handiwork. Oh no, I think I'm running short on time. Let's finish this strong with the camera, lighting and render settings. So let's quickly create a backdrop by adding in a plane, rotate it, scale it up and move it into place here. Then unhide the camera we hit at the start. And my preferred way to center up the camera is to jump into front view, then go into view, align view and align the active camera to view. Now we can jump into our data properties and set the X location to zero. So now we know this is perfectly centered and then jump into our camera settings. A lot of this is going to be down to preference, but I like a focal length of 90 millimeters, which is going to zoom our camera in a little bit. So back in data properties, we can adjust the Y axis location till we find something we like. And then inside the output settings, I'm just going to set this to 1080 by 1080 for the gram. Now you don't have to do this, but I also duplicated my Santa a couple of times here because we all know this is how Santa really delivers all over the world and it just looks pretty cool. <laughs> and then back in our camera settings, let's turn on depth of field setting the focus object to our central center here and bringing down the f-stop to give us that nice blurry effect. 
Now I'll be rendering in cycles, but as far as render settings go, for Eevee, I like ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections, all that good stuff. And then under general color management, I like a medium high contrast, and I generally enable curves to deepen my shadows and brighten my highlights. Now head on over into rendered view, and I'm just going to add in one big area light, bringing up the strength and adjusting the general scale so I get some nice coverage. In this case, I'm using 500 samples, and then when you're ready, we can hit F12 to render this out. We made it, but I think that's going to just about do it for today's video. And as always, my name is Keelan, and if you did enjoy today, a like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And if you want access to any of the source files you see in my videos, head on over to my Patreon where I make those publicly accessible. Other than that, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year no matter what you celebrate and I'll catch you in the next one.